Hey, what's up? My name is Taklas, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on heads-up display, or a HUD, H-U-D. Now, the sci-fi pack has recently added a number of HUD elements, and uh, they're all really cool. So I'm going to show you first how to use them, how to put them on to your uh, screen, and also how to make them a little more functional than just be aesthetic. So, I was going to show you a preview, but then I realized a little bit too late that I had deleted all the code to do it. So, we're just going to dive right in, build it, and go with it. So, I have my basic character, and first we're going to do the uh, sci-fi bars around the outside. Now, if you don't have the sci-fi pack, unfortunately, you won't have these models. So, what we're going to do is going to do display, and we're going to go to objects, gallery picker, and then I'm going to type HUD. That's it in the search. There's no results found, but you need to click on this uh, heart icon. And then it shows you a bunch of different HUD things, including these wonderful little HUD panels. So we're going to add a HUD detail. And because that one is on the left, we're going to put its screen location. Uh, let's see. Where is it at? Screen, center, left. Looks good. That's pretty much all we need to do. Now let's copy and paste this line a few more times, which takes a little bit because it's shifting a lot of lines of code when I do that. We're gonna go back in and it should remember our search because we haven't left the uh, editing. So now that's on the right side. So now we need to do screen center right. I really, really appreciate that they added these screen center left, screen center right placements. I've really wanted those for a while now. And I'm very glad to see them. So we're gonna go back into there. And, uh, well, I could just show you how to place all these because, like, this is bottom left, this is bottom, or no, this is bottom right, bottom left, center, top left, top right. All right. So that's the idea of it. But I may have cheated and already got it all done. So what you're going to be looking for is code that looks like this. Display all your pieces in the correct position. So, uh, these pieces can be rearranged freely. They may look a little different. Um, now, something that you've noticed is that I have a color variable right here. Now, don't panic. I know this is a beginner tutorial and it has a variable, but this variable is super easy to, to use. So, what we're going to do, we're going to make a new color variable, and we're going to call it HUD color. Now, I know that's the same name as the rest of my variables, but copy and paste the HUD color uh, variable to the end of each one of these. Now, this would be the same as if I went to colors and put blue on or something. It's the exact same thing, except the HUD color allows us to change the color of it while we're in game. Now, why would we want to change the color, you ask? I will show you one excellent reason why. First, we need to establish what this Boolean, or not Boolean, what this color variable is. I think they default to red, but I'm not going to rely on that. So we're going to have once HUD color equals... I'm going to do blue. Now, this blue is an ever so slightly different shade of blue than the default HUD because the default HUD is this, uh, that's not showing me a picture, is like kind of a light blue, kind of a turquoise light sky blue. This will give it a bit more of a, a normal royalish blue. I guess you call it royal blue. So it changes the color of it a little bit, but it's not too big of a problem. Now, we're only doing this once because we want it to establish that it's blue once, not permanently. Then what we're going to do is when hit by attack HUD color I'm copying pasting by the way which is right trigger and left trigger HUD color equals red and then one last piece of code I'm gonna copy and paste hit by attack but instead in front of it we're gonna put not now we're gonna make a child line of code here oh I want to just mention it is not important that these lines of code are child lines of code the reason they were child line of code is so I could do some ignoring lines so as a tip, if you have a child lines of code, but no code on their parent line, it will just run everything normal. So a little bit of tip there. So we're going to make a child line of code here, which you select the number and bump it to the right. This line of code here that I'm on right now will not function until this line of code is met. So when not hit by attack, we're going to do a countdown timer, a very, very short countdown timer. So 0.15. And then we're going to do, uh, I'm not used to color variables, HUD color equals blue. And there we go. 
This way, when you get hit by an attack, your heads up display will flash red. And, um, a little bit like Call of Duty, maybe. No, not really, actually, come to think of it. It doesn't splatter jelly up on your screen. But, um, it should look pretty cool. So this is the entire heads up display, which is a little bit hard to see because I have a gray and blue background. But there, you can kind of see it when I put it up against the sky. I think it looks cool. I think it looks very pretty. I think it's pretty awesome. So, let's go run outside and get hit by something. Because I always keep the enemies outdoors. Oi! Right, stop attacking that logic cube that you think is a player. There we go. So it's hitting me. And when it does that, it turns my entire heads up display red. How cool is that? That is really cool. Now they think this uh, cube's a player, so I'm just going to delete that. Actually, no, I'm not going to delete that. I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> I will move it away from where they can detect it. There we go. So, there's some other cool things you can do with the HUD. Now, I just showed you the sci-fi pack, but do not worry, people who have not purchased the sci-fi pack. There is still good stuff for you. Instead of the sci-fi pack, which I'm going to put a line of ignore here, so that none of this appears. You don't have to do that if you don't want. But instead... We are going to display something else. Now, Project Spark has added a ton of awesome icons you can look through. So let's say you're going to add a health meter. Now, this is just a tip from personal experience. There are a bazillion icons in that category, so do your searching on this page first, or else you'll have to wait for like 20 seconds for all the icons to load. So let's say we wanted a, a health icon. Now, they give you quite a few options here. You can have an, a heart, a, a heart with a plus one, a plant, a plant with a plus, a, another health for whatever reason. You can use a health bar. Um, oh, okay. You could always do um, mana. Let's see if they have anything. All right, they don't have anything for mana. So ignore that. Um, strength? Yes, they do have strength. Let's see. Food? Now, mind you, they may not have things directly titled to what you want. Apple? Uh, da, 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 da. Item? Item. See, there's like a sword. That's not exactly what I was going for. But you should really come in here and just look through what's all in here. Because, I mean, like that, that's a cool little piece of HUD that you probably never knew existed. That um, you could add, like, a, there's a crosshair. There's a pretty looking diamond. I'm just going to scroll through here till I see one that looks cool. There's a champion logo. I think that's cool looking. There's a wave. Like maybe if you have a, a water attack type person, you can always use that. These are interesting looking reticles or brackets if you're into HTML. Um, a shield icon. That's cool. Speech lines. Uh, t there's just a line. Timer. Uh, there's just all kinds of cool stuff. Um, there's like a little flashy thing. Now, mind you, you don't have to stick to the title of these things. It's what they look like that counts. So, uh, brightness. Instead of this having to actually be directly about the brightness in the world, you can use this as a day-night indicator. Or something like that. Instead of this being an empty, like a clear list or a no objects, it could just be an empty jar in your inventory. Um... There's just, there's tons of awesome icons here that you can work with. There's some that aren't nearly as awesome, but, um, yeah. So let's, let's find a cool icon because, uh, looks like I'm getting a little picky at this point. Um, lots of music icons. Nobody cares about music icons. Um, oh yeah. Every button on your controller is also in here. And so are the important keyboard buttons. Not every button on the keyboard, because that'd be ridiculous. But a lot of the important ones are, like WASD and stuff like that. That's different. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's pick one that has some color and whatnot to it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to select away and select back. So I start. Okay, that didn't work. Um... I don't know, I should just pick one. Let's just pick dead objects. Killed objects, whatever. Now we're going to put this boy smack dab in the middle of the screen. As of right now, that's going to be a fairly large icon colored exactly the way it is. And that's good. But let's say you don't like how it's colored. Let's say you want it colored something else. 
that's no problem. Project Spark recently optimized the coloring because before it overlaid a color onto the current colors. So let's say I put blue on it, the blue and the red eyes would make it have purple eyes and that'd look stupid. They recently optimized it so it grayscales the tile and then applies color so that that tile would be completely blue. So you could do that. If you want that tile integrated into text, you can do plus text, new text, look, it's a skull. There we go. Now when you do that, it shrinks this icon down to font size. If there's no text, it keeps it fairly large. So that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, you can color it something. I'm gonna color it a non HUD variable color. Uh, let's do, let's do, let's do green. Green's a good color. Now you're not limited to these icons either. Let me copy paste this line. And you can choose any item from here and you know what, it'll appear. So let's say you think, um, you think this Codian rune stone, rune stone looks just friggin' awesome. And I'm not going to color it because it looks awesome. Now, even though it's screen center, this is going to push this down, I think. Uh, but if you want to make sure which one is on top, go to priority. And deceivingly enough, the highest number sits on top. So a 10 sits above a 5. So I'm going to put this one 10. And then I can put this one, like, 9. So, let's give that a will. A whirl. Ugh. Look at that, I added 50 tiles today. Shocker. See, there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, you can use that on an inventory page maybe to show off the different types of swords that people have and give them a nice clear image of that sword. Being aware, if you want to recolor that icon, you either have to do it via code like we just did. Uh, you can't change the individual color character properties of it and then um, then display it on the screen easily I'll say that so one last thing I want to show you is health bars and text so we're gonna do parents display display and let's just uh, say um, go to techless's YouTube channel. There we go. That's the best possible text I could put up without any self-advertising whatsoever. We're going to put that in the center of the screen. We're going to make it extra large font. No, we're going to make it large font. And now let's say that we want it in a text box because text boxes are awesome. That's not a problem. They add a text box gallery. And these are different text boxes that they give us. And you really need to think which box. Oh, I should probably remove my search. There we go. Which box do you want? A fantasy message, which is just like a box that appears. Say, which is like a cartoon say or cartoon think. And then these are different sci-fi messages. So for me, the sci-fi messages, like these two come from people. These ones come from robots, but that's just my personal preference. You can choose anything that you want. So I'm gonna put this here on the message or with the um, that particular bar and let's give it a quick test and as you can see the most important message I could have possibly put up there is there now there are a few other settings that I'm gonna go over very quickly because they're not important in most situations I will say that but they can be important in some situations um, and these are applicable to most everything I've gone over scale which is one of my favorites. You can scale up or scale down the size of icons, being aware that number one is default, two is twice as big, and 0 0.5 is half as big. See if I want it like a little smaller, like 0 0.7.5 is where you want to go. Priority of, we've gone over that. Opacity, this sets how see-through the object is. 0, 0.0 being completely transparent, 1.0 being completely visible. So somewhere in there you want to play with that. Uh, positioning, I'm not actually going to get into this. This is more than I'm intending to get into. We have one last thing we want to, I want to go over before I wrap up. And that is 
the display meters. Now I'm going to display my health at, oh, I don't know, just for the sake of simplicity in the center of the screen. This isn't where you should probably should put it. But you display your health and that's cool. And that's boring because you're going to get the boring uh, box that goes around it. But not anymore. We have a meter gallery now. We have four different meters, three if you haven't bought the sci-fi pack, that you can choose from. And they're all cool looking. The health meter looks cool. The XP meter is nice and thin. The resource meter has a gradient. And the galaxies meter has a gradient. So all these are fantastic. I love them. And it's worth noting that if you apply a color to them, it changes the color of the fill bar, not the frame. So, let's show that off. There we go. You see how it actually has a pretty fancy schmancy gradient on it? I like that. So, oh, look, they're all after me this time. And it's depleting my health as usual. So, those are uh, HUD elements. Um, they can also be referred to as GUI, Graphical User Interface. Um, and for the record, haha, those, those guys all fell off into the abyss. It is, it is Graphical User Interface. It is not GUI. I can't stand people who use GUI. Even though I don't think there is even a technical right or wrong there, I insist on calling it GUI because GUI and computers, I just, I don't want my computer to be GUI. So... That's the tutorial guide. Oh no, I'm gonna call it a tutorial. That uh, I did. My next tutorial that I have planned for the very near future is how to fall into nothingness off the cliff into the abyss without getting your object destroyed and have it be able to teleport to a location to um, kill it. So I don't know, whatever you want. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys.